Hi, this is the first video from the series of educational videos about mobile marketing. It's perfect for those who are just starting their journey in this field. Subscribe to stay updated and get access to insightful content such as videos about game-based user motivations, user color preferences and more. Join us on a journey into the realm of mobile marketing knowledge. Let's start with our first topic. Today we are going to talk about marketing creatives for mobile games and apps. What are they? Who needs them? Where can you see them? What's important to keep in mind when you work on marketing creative? What types and format of creatives are most popular? But before we begin, let me explain who we are. We are Crada, a marketplace for creatives. With us you will get no surprises, you know the costs and deadlines before production. No minimums or maximums, you can order as many creatives as you like, one or even 100. And no limitations, you can send us your ideas or we can generate our own. Let's connect and see how we can improve the performance of your creatives. Well, getting back to the topic. A marketing creative is any marketing material which helps to promote your game or mobile app. When we talk about marketing creatives, we talk about user acquisition or shortly UA and app store optimization or shortly SO. UA creatives can be in forms of banners, playables and video ads. In ASO, they usually come in forms of icons, screenshots, feature graphics and videos. We will talk more about ASO in our future videos, and now let's focus on UA creatives. Before starting to work on a UA marketing creative, firstly, creative producers. These are the people who generate ideas for creatives, closely research competitors and trends. Then they set the main strengths of a project and finally works on hooks and triggers that should attract potential users. The result of this work is called brief, which contains a detailed creative idea. Typically, a brief includes a detailed idea description, references, mood boards, sketches and detailed technical requirements, which depend on where the creative will be launched. You have definitely seen some types of ads on YouTube, on Facebook, on your Instagram feed and even while playing games on your phone. These are all marketing creatives. Each marketing creative has two important aims. Firstly, to attract as many users as possible, which can be monetized within a game or an app. And secondly, to increase brand awareness of a game, an app or a company in general. Video is one of the most popular types of creatives when you want to promote mobile games and apps. As a rule, a video ad is no longer than 25-30 seconds, but their ad networks where other durations are possible and perform well. For example, on TikTok, a video ad with duration of less than 15 seconds can work really well. And some channels allow you to use a video longer than 60 seconds. The majority of ads are around 30 second videos, but other durations can also perform good, so experiment and test all possible durations. Creative producers are constantly trying to come up with unusual ideas or hooks, which will attract users and motivate them to continue watching the video or click to the video. And in perspective, this hook will encourage a person to make a target action. For instance, install an app or a game, make an app purchase, and so on. And now let's take a look at some fresh examples of video creatives with great ideas and hooks. Jump to get your gold back! You got this!
There are different research studies that show that around 80 to 90 percent of users never watch 30 seconds ads till the end. But of course, it depends on an ad network, audience, and placement. For example, even if it's a rewarded video, a video which gives you a reward in the game, for instance, coins or extra lives, which can be skipped during 30 seconds, users can ignore the video anyway. They can put their phones down, or make a cup of tea, or even watch it without paying attention, waiting for an exit button to finally close the video. And this is exactly why the first 3 to 5 seconds of a video are extremely important. At these very seconds, a person decides if they want to continue watching the ad or not. The next popular type of creatives is playable ads. These interactive ads allow users to try and play demo before deciding to download the app or game. Research shows that users are more likely to interact with playable ads compared to traditional video ads. This type of creatives can help increase retention and reduce uninstalls if you are making gameplay playables and to receive more traffic compared to using only video ads. Let's take a look at some examples of playable creatives. On different advertising channels, playables can be used as an independent unit of creative as a standalone playable or together with the video as an end card, when the playable begins right after the video. The playable should not be too short and too long. The player should finish with the feeling that they want to play some more. The middle ground of the playable is 3 to 7 player actions, clicks, swipes, etc. Optimized size is also important for this ad format. The less the size of a creative, the better, as the player will wait less for the ad to load. Different advertising channels have their own requirements, usually just from 2 to 5 megabytes. Playable ads usually consist of three main parts. The first part is a tutorial or an opening card. This is a hook where players enter a game or an app. As well as grabbing attention, these sections need to be short and pleasant, showing people immediately how to start playing and basically motivated them to play. The second part is the gameplay simple and straightforward experience. Many companies have different approaches here. Some show native gameplay, some half mislead and some mislead. It all depends on each company's approach. Mislead mechanics are often used in creative, you shouldn't be afraid to use misleads. Sometimes they work better than native mechanics and games plot. The third part is a pack shot. This should motivate the user to download the game or the app. It's necessary to use a strong call to action so that users go directly to the store to install your game or app. Let's move on. Our next marketing creative format is banner ads. Mobile banner ads have been around since the beginning of mobile marketing and when used correctly, they can play an essential role in creative strategy. 
but it's also worth noting that they are usually used together with other formats to scale traffic. To break through banner blindness, it's also necessary to use different hooks and triggers in such type of creatives. And the strong call to action plays an important role for banners. And now let's take a look at great examples of fresh and well-performing banner creatives. Banners on different advertising platforms have different formats. Small ones for part of the screen, full screen ones for the entire screen, and they can also function as an end cards for videos. An important point to keep in mind when you make banners is to adapt the concept to each size and ad network. We are looked of three of the most popular formats of marketing creatives. If you want to make a really awesome creative, you should think about these four points. First, use a hook in the first few seconds of the video and in playable ads. In all types, use a strong call to action and triggers. Second, always keep in mind the target audience of a project. Is it a woman or man? What's their age and location? As different studies show, men and women have a lot of psychological differences. And adults will not always fall for the same things as children. Also, keep in mind that there is a big cultural contrast between Europe and Asia because of different trends, current events and traditions. Third, demonstrate the competitive advantages of the project. Its setting, popular main characters and unique game features which cannot be found in other similar projects. As there is an extra option, you can use misleading mechanics or plots to attract new audiences. It means to show something that isn't in the game. And fourth, think about emotions that you want to convey to the users, so-called game motivations, which we are going to talk about in some of our next videos. Marketing creatives are a key element of a successful advertising campaign that helps attract their audience's attention and increase conversion. If you want to create engaging creatives for your game or product, feel free to contact us. Let us know what you think about our video in the comments section down below. Don't forget to click the like button to show your support and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned. See you in the next videos.